Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the week of August 3rd. Uh, this week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 4 p.m. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, every day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So uh, all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But let's see here what is going on for you here and let's keep it going. Uh, I feel like a lot of you, this is really good. Uh, this is interesting. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, there could be a water sign coming in for love. That's shown up for you before and it's showing up again. I feel like there are some fears that this person is trying to trick you for whatever reason. So um, let's dig into this and we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, but you start off with the whale spirit. By the way, um, this is the deck that I'm using right here. It's the it's the radiant, uh, uh, radiant wise spirit rider weight. You have the whale spirit coming up first here. I haven't seen this card in forever. It says, trust the great mystery. I feel like for some of you, something is just working out. And I feel like this is saying, don't question it. <laughs> That's what I'm getting for you here, Capricorn. You have the temperance card, the hangman, and the lovers here. It's like the temperance card is saying that maybe you did something to change your circumstances in your life. Maybe you have improved your finances with this Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you have love coming in here. And um, I feel like for some of you, this is saying like you've imp improved your situation, but I feel like this is saying don't question the situation as well. I also feel like you are grounding something in reality here. It's like you've realized how to accomplish something is what's popping into my head. So I definitely like to see that. Uh, on this temperance card, it's like they have one foot in the water, one foot out. But I feel like you're grounding something in reality here with this card for some reason. That's what's popping into my head. Again, if you're new here, I read intuitively. I don't just regurgitate uh, card meanings. So um, I just say what pops into my mouth. It's just that simple. But um, I feel like for some of you, it's like you are being enlightened as to something that's going to work out really well for you here. So love it in that first row. Uh, definitely could be love coming in for you. Could be a Pisces. You have King of Cups and you have the Hangman. Uh, could be Taurus as well, Sagittarius, Gemini. Those are the signs that are popping out to me. Could be any sign. This is just a general reading. But I feel like for some of you, uh, this is your past position, by the way. I feel like you've been very patient for pretty much everything in your life, Capricorn. And now I feel like things are kind of speeding up in this middle row, which is nice. Um, the lovers definitely could be love coming in. I'm not really getting much here. We're gonna clarify this in just a minute. Uh, next, you have the release card here. I feel like this is like a release of something here from the past. Um, for a lot of you, kind of a weird message. I feel like some of you are, it's like you're releasing a person, but I feel like that same person is coming back. They're just coming back as a new person. So again, if you're thinking about someone from the past, I feel like this is saying, like once you release that old person, um, who they used to be, then I feel like they can come back better than ever. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'll say there. You have this five of wands. It's coming out to me as conflict with a person from the past, but I feel like they have changed. So I don't know, that's just for some of you. For others, you have the King of Cups here, the Five of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is saying that you just need to sit back and allow things to come in for you. I feel like the more you let go, the easier things flow into your life. Isn't that always the way? You have the King of Cups. He's just chilling here. He's just sitting here. He's not worried about anything. The, the world is going crazy outside of him, but he is just sitting here. He His emotions are perfectly stable. He's perfectly fine. You have the Five of Wands here and that's saying that you know in there's a lot of conflict and things going on in the world but you have the ace of pentacles it's like you're getting to the garden you're getting to a place of um, beauty rest relaxation success abundance pretty much everything you want i feel like this is saying the more you let go of outcomes the more you release the more abundance flows into your life here the five of wands is saying like yes you know outside of us there's a lot of crazy stuff going on but that doesn't mean we have to, you know, go crazy either. So that's what I'd say there. For others, I feel like this is like someone choosing you. I feel like you're skeptical for some reason, Capricorn. <laughs> this could be the other person as well. It's like, you know, it's almost like I see someone here has you or you have them on a pedestal. And it's like they love you. I feel like there's love here. But you're like, why does this person love me? <laughs> 
or, or vice versa. Take it for how it resonates. Capricorn, but I feel like there's some sort of conflict. If you went through a breakup, I feel like that could be it. I feel like the, like your person, if they just left you, I feel like they're like, why does this person love me? That's what's popping into my head. It's such a weird message. But I feel like some of you have dealt with that in love. It's like you've dealt with a person who can't understand how you could love them or something like that. I don't know. They didn't feel good enough, right? Uh, you have this time to go card. I feel like you're in this in-between world here. I feel like for some of you, this is literally saying that you just need to move into your new life here. You have the Two of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Hierophant here. Uh, this bottom row here is like your values uh, here, Capricorn. I feel like once you start demanding values or once you come up with your values in life, I feel like that's exactly what you're going to get. You have the Lovers, which can be things that you value as well, or it can be your values. You have the Ace of Pentacles, something that you would value. And you have the Hierophant, which is like your morals or your moral teachings and things that you have learned to be your morals in life. And But it's like also your values, things that you value. So I feel that this reading is very simple. Capricorn, I really feel like it's not talking about anything specific other than the things that you value. And I feel like it's saying, like, once you demand what you're worth, once you demand what your values are, that's exactly what you will get. And this is in all areas of your life. If you demand a million dollars a year, then you'll get it, right? I know that sounds crazy, but you know, people always come to me and they, they always say, um, you know, some give me a million excuses as to why they can't make a million dollars a year or whatever, or they'll say that's impossible. I'm like, well, there are plenty of people that make a million dollars a year. So clearly it's not impossible. Um, clearly it's possible to do. Same thing in love. People always tell me how there's no love. I'm like, there are plenty of people in love. There are plenty of people I know personally that are very happily in love. So it's like, we have to make the choice. We have to upgrade our standards. And that's almost what I feel like you're doing here. It's like, you're just demanding new standards for your life. I love it. This is like an empowerment reading for you here, Capricorn, I feel. I feel like you are demanding a new standard for your life in all areas, not just love, not just money, but also spirituality, health, pretty much everything. It's like you're upgrading here. So I love that. Even with the Seven of Swords, um, I don't even think that's talking about lying, cheating, stealing, but uh, let's clarify and let's see what we have for you here. Like I said, I really feel like a demanding thing. I feel like you should be demanding. <laughs> I feel like this like sense of like righteous indignation here. It's like you're pissed off for greatness, Capricorn, which is one of my favorite sayings. Uh, between the Temperance card and the King of Cups, four of clubs, again, if, you, if there was a falling out or if there was a breakup here, there was some sort of confusion. I feel like someone didn't feel good enough. Someone just had different values as well. Um, you know, the Hierophant to me with the lovers is kind of like that romance angel card that can say, um, you know, someone is different than their usual type or whatever it is. You know, so again, some of you could be maybe attracting someone from a different background or maybe they grew up under different circumstances and things like that. I feel like that could have caused a falling out here. Um, again, if that happened, I feel like this person wants to come back to a once. Again, we'll clarify through. We're going to see what happens, but that's kind of what I get there. I feel like you need to be careful of your shoulder. I keep getting pains right here in your shoulder. So um, the four clubs can represent your health, something about your health or some sort of confusion. I would be careful with like lifting things up. I don't know, it's popping into my head, I have to say it. Uh, between the hangman and the five of wands, yeah, there was a lot of love in a situation, but something happened, some sort of delay, something got in the way of a situation here, four of hearts. Four of hearts, again, is not a real Lenormand card. I'm using this um, maybe Lenormand deck right here, and it has some playing cards in it. The four of hearts to me represents a very stable, loving relationship, actually. But it's like there was a conflict. There could have been lying, cheating, stealing, I really just feel like this Seven of Swords is talking about someone who wouldn't share their burdens. I feel like this is, it's kind of making me sad, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. Uh, if this story is for you, it's almost like this person doesn't realize that you would have um, helped them through anything. You know, it's like almost like they don't want to put their burdens on someone else. But it's also like they've made their life overly difficult is what's popping into my head. I feel that might, that might only be for one of you, Capricorn, but it's popping into my head hard, I have to say it. And it's, like I said, it's kind of making me feel sad. Like, you know, it's like someone who didn't realize that they do deserve you and that you would have helped them probably very happily. Um, I don't know. I feel like there could be another chance here. So let's see. Between the lovers and the Ten of Pentacles, again, money could have gotten in the way of a love situation if you went through a breakup. Ten of Clubs, burdens. This person on the outside might have looked like they had everything together, but it's like finances could have caused a problem. I do feel like it could have been someone with Gemini in their chart here, Capricorn. Could have been like a Gemini rising or Gemini moon or something like that. I feel like some of you could have a Gemini moon. I'm a Gemini moon. 
<laughs> as well. But I feel like some of you could have Gemini in your chart as well with this. But it's like finance has gotten the way here. Ten of Clubs is actually a good card. It's a card of you know making huge leaps and progress, jumping forward towards success. Um, but it's also a card of learning. It kind of says you have learned a lot in life. So very good card. Between the King of Cups here and the Two Wands, look, you have the Ten of Hearts here. Ten of Hearts is called the dog, and it represents loyalty. Again, I feel like for some of you, it's like you were very loyal to this person that could have hurt you. I feel like you, it's it, like I said, this feels like a sad situation to me, Capricorn. It feels like one of those things where it looks one way, but it's something else. It's like maybe you thought this person is leaving you for third party or something, or maybe you thought they were lying and cheating and stealing. I feel like it's more emotional. You know, I feel like they were having some issues that you would have helped with. The Ten of Hearts is loyalty. So it's like someone who wants to be loyal to you. I feel like if you're looking for new love, by the way, this could be a water sign, someone who will be loyal to you. Two of Wands could say that either you or your, per if you have your eye on someone, someone needs to leave their comfort zone here with that Two of Wands. Uh, for others, I feel like if you're moving or traveling, you could meet someone through moving or traveling as well. Uh, between the Five of Wands here and the Seven of Swords, you have the Seven of Diamonds. There will be communication in this situation. Of course, this person's going to pop back up here. I feel like they're going to deliver the truth, actually. I'm, I'm going to pull out a bonus row here. I've been doing this all week. <laughs> I should probably just pull an extra row every single time, right? But I, I feel like um, I'm gonna, I need to pull another row. So we're going to clarify this more. But um, I feel like this person's going to communicate. Between the Ace of Diamonds, yeah, look, this person's beating themselves up. The Jack of Clubs here. It's called, a, called the Whip. This person's really beating themselves up. Ace of Pentacles and the Hairfins, like they saw you as someone they would marry. So again, if that story is for you there, Virgo, uh, or for you, Capricorn, sorry, I hope I haven't been calling you Virgo this whole time. I probably have, but Capricorn, um, I feel like this person is kind of feeling sad. I feel like they wanted to marry you if that story is for you. For others, this card to me is just you demanding something. Like I said earlier in the reading, really, I feel like there is this love story here, but at the same time, I feel like a lot of you are just demanding new things for your life. Uh, and your top row outcome, three of spades here. So a breakup. Some of you went through a breakup or a separation. For others, watch your back. Three of spades. Funny enough, I used to call this card like the back, or I used to say when the three of spades came up, I used to say, be careful of your back. It feels like your shoulder to me, like right here. So I would be careful with that card. For In, in this deck here, again, there's a rose here. So I feel like for some of you, this could be someone coming back, like trying to make an offer. Maybe this could be like an apology. In your middle row here, you have the king of diamonds. Yeah, your soulmate. Here, this is called the fish. The king of diamonds represents your soulmate, someone who you're meant to marry, someone you're meant to be with for the rest of your life, Hairfin. I feel like this person, you know, this could be someone from the past is what I feel for you, Capricorn. I can't get it out of my head. So, I, like, I, I would say try to be gentle with this person is what I, if, if you want this person back. Obviously, if you don't, then, you know, don't, don't take this person back. I always say, I think we have multiple people here on earth we could be with at any given time. You know, to me, there is no the one. To me, we create the one. <laughs> so I feel like, you, you know, this is saying that there's someone very special coming in for you. It could be this person from the past. I feel like they're really sorry in this situation is what I feel like saying. Weird situation, not going to lie. But I feel like someone's coming back apologizing here for whatever reason. For those of you looking for new love, this could definitely be your soulmate. For others, this is just abundance. And uh, finally, your bottom row outcome, yeah, Queen of Hearts this is called the Stork. It's like someone wants to travel towards you or move towards you here, Capricorn. So this could be something long distance. Uh, for others, this is just like true love coming in for you here, Capricorn. So love it. I just want to pull a uh, outcome row here. You have the Three of Pentacles here, the Two of Swords here, and the Nine of Swords. This person's worried. Um, I feel like this person wanted to kind of like wants to work on things with you with that Three of Pentacles. It's like they want to work on a team. That Two of Swords and Nine of Swords, they're afraid of what you're going to say. Two of Pentacles, they're going to communicate here. And Nine of Swords, yeah, the Tower. The Tower in the Lenormand is not like the Tower in the Tarot, but it can represent some confusion here. Yeah, Two of Spades, this person is very worried. The Two of Spades in this deck represents like some sort of coming together or, or like an agreement so i feel like this person is hoping to work together with you with this three of pentacles if you're going through this breakup here is what i'd say to you capricorn yeah seven of hearts are hoping to build a family with you but they're worried that things aren't going to work out here I, um <clears throat> i'm trying to decide if this person's actually going to reach out or not i feel like for some of you they will yeah i feel like they will two of hearts perfect match so I feel like this person's gonna get the balls to reach out to you if this is someone from the past. Uh, for the rest of you, again, this is you just demanding new standards for your life. I feel like for a lot of you, you are just demanding what you deserve 
And I feel like because of that, you are getting it, <laughs> plain and simple. So um, yeah, I love this for you, Capricorn. I feel like there's a lot of good stuff coming up for you here. I hope I wasn't calling you Virgo that whole time. I probably was, sorry. But um, this looks really good. So uh, thank you, Capricorn, and definitely enjoy your week.